men will never admit how truly depressed they are and i believe it's a sad indictment as someone that used to have mental health problems and i know this may resonate with so many people that have had previous mental health issues i find that when it comes to and again as a disclaimer this is not to put down women or shame them at all absolutely not but i find it's a lot easier for them to express their concerns whereas for a man it's not most men get through their life and they're not actually living life they are surviving whether it's financially whether it's physically whether it's mentally but they're just surviving they are just surviving and, and that is it's a sad indictment that is the most harsh thing and as a man that you know if you're a man that's genuinely depressed or you're a man that is got those mental health issues and you're, you're trying to find a way and nothing seems to be working you just have to operate in a certain way you have to i talk about this all the time but you have to have conviction and you have to always believe that things are going to get better i know that it's a very cliche thing to always think positive and trust me guys i've been there when you try and think about the future you try and envision a good scenario and your mind is just blank your mind is just blank because everything right now around you seems so bleak you seem so far away from where you want to be it feels as if everything that you want is in a different stratosphere it's not even within your realm but trust me when i say you're only this far away you have to keep believing that and it's not even the total of it it's not even a lie it's not even a lie because genuinely you're not even that far no matter where you've come from or what position you're currently in the only important thing is where you're going but when it comes to male depression there's a reason why suicide rates are four times greater for men there's a big reason for that because men don't feel as though they can express their concerns this has nothing to do with men being in touch with their emotions it's not anything about that i speak about stoicism all the time but that is the point if anything when you're depressed and you're going through a difficult time that is the time you have to lock in further you need a good environment absolutely you need good people around you if you're lonely and you're in constant solitude that can make things worse as long as you have a good environment around you the only way out of this current predicament is to lock in, have conviction in what you're doing and just keep pushing through. It's the only way because unfortunately, unfortunately, you have to change the way that you operate. You have to change the way that you think and you have to change the way that you act. Those two things are the only things, I know as basic as it may sound, they're the only things that are going to get you out of the situation. You can go to a therapist, no problem at all. I'm not saying, I'm not totally against therapy, right? So if you want to go to a the therapist, this is absolutely fine. But... The reality of the situation is the action that you take and exactly how you think, these two factors will determine how your life changes. No one can change your life for you. We hear this all the time. No one's coming to save you. No one's coming to the rescue because it's the reality, because it's true. You're responsible for your own life. You have a duty of care for yourself. The situation for men, I believe personally, the way that we're heading as a society, it's only going to get worse over the next three to five years. I think it's going to, before thing. I think suicide rates being four times greater for men is something that needs to be addressed in society. That's number one. We need to get to the root problem as to why that is. But I personally think the way that we're heading in terms of technology, in terms of population, in terms of what's going on around us in our environment, I personally think things will get bleak and even worse, significantly worse for the next three to five years to then for us to get better. I think as a human race, sometimes you have to take a step back to sort of take two, three steps forward. But it's something to, to worth think about. And I know that many of you guys will have had either A, mental health issues in the past, or you're currently going through mental health issues, or you're currently, currently going through depression. And guys, trust me, antidepressant pills do not work. Please understand when I say that. I've not taken them. I've, I've known a lot of people to have taken them. The side effects are not worth it. And in terms of the positives, a lot of it is a placebo. I'm telling you right now, action 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 it's the way that you think you have to change the way that you think i know that when you're down in the dumps thinking positive is so difficult it's so difficult but it's you have to get yourself out and that's why when i alluded to earlier it's about the environment that you have in place you know do you have parents that are supportive do you have friends that you can you can share your concerns with do you have a you know a partner what are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis analyze your day-to-day -day habits because sometimes guys a lot of what you do in terms of habits is keeping you down for example, I'm not a scientist or a biologist, but in terms of your gut, 
90% of serotonin, which is AKA the happy chemical, the happy hormone, is produced in your gut. So again, what are you consuming in terms of food, right? Because I know it's something so trivial, something so basic as that could be impacting your mood. Because if you feed your gut correctly, that will produce more serotonin, which will naturally make you feel happier. And when you eat better, you feel better. When you exercise, you feel better. So a lot of it is the small things that will compound over time. And that's why I say to you guys, first of all, your environment. I don't mean in terms of your actual space, that as well, in terms of people, in terms of relationships, in terms of friends and family, that number one. Number two, analyze your daily habits. What are you consuming on a daily basis? What are you drinking on a daily basis? What are your daily to weekly habits? You have to analyze this from day dot. What are you doing when you get up? What time do you get up? What time do you sleep? Because the time that you sleep and the hours that you get in terms of testosterone, that has a massive impact. It's getting to the root cause. But understand this one thing. If you're going through a time where you're genuinely depressed or you, you have mental health issues, understand that as Jesus once said, I'm not a Christian, but it's in the Bible, this too shall pass. The feeling that you're experiencing right now, it will only be temporary. It's not permanent. Remember that. Any good feeling, any bad feeling, it's fleeting. Napoleon Bonaparte said something extremely profound and very famous. He said, glory is fleeting, but obscurity is forever. And it's not just glory that's fleeting, it's any other feeling, it's any other emotion that you're experiencing, whether it's glory, whether it's despair, it will always be fleeting because experience and emotion will always be temporary. We're not on this earth forever. Nothing is ever permanent. Things will get better. You must believe that. You must have conviction and things will certainly get better. But don't underestimate and downplay your depression or mental health. If you have it, try and express your concerns a bit more. Analyse what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and understand that many men going through what you're currently going through at the moment so hopefully that helps if you enjoyed it make sure you smash the like button subscribe hit the bell notification and i'll see all of you guys for my next video peace